guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's episode of Fossil Friday, I'm going to be attempting to prep a Nautilus fossil I found on a recent fossil hunting trip. So it's not very big, but I actually thought this was an ammonite when I first found it, but you guys very correctly corrected me. That's a bit of a tongue twister that it's in fact a nautilus so i will link down below the video when i went hunting if you'd like to see what other bits and bobs i found but today we're going to be focusing on this little guy so you can see the ribbing and then if i turn it around you can see it's all in there and it's a really nice specimen i think so my goal is to just flick off this bit here but uh, whether it's going to go to plan, you never know with fossils. And I'm a bit nervous because here in France, I don't have all my safety bits and bobs, aka lots of glues. Um, so if it breaks, I'm just going to have to put it in a bag and bring it back to England with me. So fingers crossed this goes to plan. But I'm just going to be using, where did I put it? My hammer and a nail. So uh, hopefully that's going to be enough to just flick off the um, bit of rock that's in the way. And then we should be good to go. So here is what it looks like. So you can see this is the sides of it and then this piece here is just in the way. But uh, it's pretty much, most of it is exposed. It's just the middle section that I've got to try and chip off. And also, if you guys hadn't noticed, my fabulous color changing nails are in full swing. I will show you them change color just because I'm a child. So this isn't actually vodka. I just reused the vodka bottles as um, water bottles because they're nice in glass. So I think it's just nicer. But look, so you see it's like half and half. This is how you get your finger stuck in a bottle. And now it's pink. So let me try and do it so you can see it happen. Isn't that just the coolest thing? And then you can watch them go back to white. I'm literally a child. I know. But yeah, don't go sticking your fingers in bottles, kids. That's a bad example. And I just thought I would show you the backside as well in case you wanted to see the whole fossil. So I think it's a really nice example. Um, I'm not sure what species this nautilus is, so if you guys know much more, let me know. All I know is it's a nautilus, but I think it's beautiful. So even though it's not perfectly prepped, I got the big bit off and then it did crack, but I put it back together and it's such a perfect fit that it holds. So I'm gonna stop here because I'd rather it in two pieces than a million. Um, so when I take it back to England, I can just put some glue down that crack and it should be fine. But I think it's a really nice specimen. Like the ribbing's lovely. So with a little bit more TLC and a bit more prep, I think it will turn out lovely. But um, I just wanted to get the big chunk off and I think I've achieved that. So. No, I'm really chuffed with how it's turned out, so let me know what you think. But I think that's not a bad prep job, like quite a bit came off. You know, there's quite a lot of rock there, considering all I have is a hammer and a nail. I think I didn't destroy it too badly. <laughs> so, no, I'm happy with this one. So that's today's video, it was just a quick little prep job and I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. Considering it broke in half, I'm happy that it's kind of slotted back together and it's not a major break, so we're all good. But it does need a bit more prep and a bit of glue and then I think it'll be a really nice um, Nautilus fossil. Like I've not found one complete like this, so I'm really happy. I like it. So let me know what you think. But with just a nail and a hammer, I think it turned out all right. I do. But um, I'll link on my social media down below if you'd like to check out even more fossil related content. But thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and hopefully I'll see you next time.